Thank you, darling. Yeah, some say revenge is a dish best served cold. So whatever happened to that Bob guy you were after? Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Like, uh, I don't know, do you ever go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a red man? Yes, I did, Ben. I remember once I was after this renegade Apache, Grey Wolf. Strangely enough, revenge was also his primary motivation. A bounty was put on Grey Wolf's head, and that's how I came to hunt him in the mountains. Mountains so high, they tickled the nether regions of heaven. Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during his daughter's sacred sunrise ceremony, and the slaughter was unspeakable. Right from the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. He led a band of young Apache warriors who wanted retribution and were more than willing to die for him. They saw me before I saw them. And it crossed my mind that maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But now that the shooting had started, there was no backing down. rugged country, the winter home of the Cherokawas, and that's why they had retreated there. I admit to having some regrets about going after them the way they did, but then again, I got a lot of those. Grey Wolf? Not at that moment, but I did find the entrance to their hideout. Deep crevice that led to a deeper cave. Don't tell me you're in there. Yeah, but it's not out of bravery so much as pure angry cussedness. See, back then, I had a stubborn streak a mile wide. 
and I wasn't about to back down. So it was like pitch black in there? Actually, it was pretty well lit as they had torches on the wall. was his cave? Big as hell. <clears throat> Chiricahua had hid out there during the Indian Wars. <clears throat> they thought it was haunted with the ghosts of those murdered by the horse soldiers. The cave was haunted with dead Indian ghosts? <clears throat> to be honest, I was more concerned with the live ones than the dead ones. <clears throat> How come you know so much about engines? A few years back, I was married to two Mescalero women. At the same time? Yeah, they were sisters. Polygyny is traditional among the Mescalero. So what happened? Oh, I had to get out of there. Those girls never shut up. Both of them nagging at me all the time. Drove me half crazy. I haven't seen them since. I came upon this flooded grotto, and that's when I saw him. He came to me unarmed and unafraid. His voice echoed in the shadows. And I sensed he meant me no harm. You carry great darkness in your heart, and if you do not release it, it will claim your soul. The sound of his voice put some kind of ancient Indian spell on me. As his story unfolded in my mind. You will come to this place again, and kill many more men, and the darkness will grow until it consumes everything that you are. The soul would have no rainbow if the eye had no tears. He said I was a great warrior, a coyote man, unequaled by any other pale-faced warrior, or something like that. The snakes will bite shadows of your past until a venom poisons your heart, and the echo of the song of the dead summons the spirits deep from within the mountains. I didn't quite get what he was saying, but there was definitely snakes. And indeed, his warriors surrounded me and attacked me like hungry wolverine. They couldn't stop me though, and Grey Wolf wasn't in the mood for idle talk. I swear I couldn't see any way out of this trap. But suddenly, one just appeared. Kinda like a miracle. I felt like I would be lost in that damn cave forever. Finally, I found myself back outside, perched on the edge of a precipice, overlooking a thundering white water river. To get where I was going required several leaps of faith. But no way in hell I was turning back. I chased after him, determined to make him explain the meaning of all that mumbo-jumbo. <sighs> mumbo-jumbo is right. Are you making this all up as you go? A few details may be fuzzy, brother, but I am relating exactly what happened to me. There were dozens of Apache warriors aiming at me from on high. Dozens? Well, maybe not dozens, but... There was a lot of... At least three or four. Well, more than that, little lady.
I had a steep climb up creek ahead of me and scrambled up those rocks like a mountain goat. I was determined to locate Grey Wolf and find out exactly what the hell he was trying to tell me. And wouldn't you know it, that crafty son of a bitch led me right into a trap. What kind of trap? Well, son, there had to be at least a hundred Apaches around him. A hundred? God be my witness. Oh, come on. Who are you kidding? Hey, I believe you. Come on, tell us how it ended. All right, but I'm not gonna drag this out. Where were we? You were surrounded by a hundred Apache warriors. Well, I didn't take the time to count them exactly, but there were a lot of them. <laughs> And in the end, a path appeared before me that I had not seen before. I followed it as I desperately needed to find out what Grey Wolf was trying to tell me. But it was like that some of bitch disappeared into thin air. Never did find him. And never did collect my goddamn bounty.